Probably one of the most requested flies people want to see is the um, Patriot Skunk. And I thought I'd tie one tonight. Uh, someone asked for it. I think I did this video a while ago, but I don't know where I posted it or if I ever posted it. Um, so Patriot Skunk combines the uh, Sobble Skunk, which is a traditional rubber leg attractor. Uh, flies by Goodyear, they used to call them. And the Patriot, which is a Pennsylvania fly that uh, we brought to, someone brought to Michigan and uh, works quite well here. So there's some variations to this fly nowadays, but when we first, you know, sort of dreamed it up, it was um, really inspired of all things by the LaFontaine double wing. And uh, then we're like, well, that looks like a cool fly and Patriots are a cool fly and skunks are a cool fly. Let's just combine them all together and it, it works, it really works. It seems to work best on super hot, uh, sunny days in the middle of summer. I can remember a couple of days in particular when I was guiding where it was just a thing to have. It's also the great um, top fly and a dry and dropper. So I run the red thread down, um, almost halfway down the bend. Uh, a lot of people don't do this step anymore, but again, this is how we first we're tying it. Then we're gonna put a little deer hair tail on it. Um, and this is that double wing part that was in the LaFontaine pattern. So I'd say about half a hook shank. And as always, I, I switch uh, hands, clip it first. We want this more or less on top of the hook. So soft wrap, soft wrap, do a three, try to keep it on top of the hook. And then I hold it in place and just wrap through those um, flared deer hair parts, stems, I guess. There you go. So this is actually the double wing. This is supposed to be the underwing. And as I recall, we're talking <laughs> like two decades ago, that was how we, uh, how it kind of started. It'd be interesting if you could go back in time and had nothing better to do to watch people come up with flies. I'll bet the way we think we came up with them is different than the way we remember. Anyway, I'm gonna take about three pieces of peacock wrap here. Maybe this is a royal double wing patriot skunk. Like I said, it's like we took everything and combined them together. So everyone's got a different way of attaching this stuff. I, I kind of twist it onto the thread, hold it and wrap it. It starts out loose, but you get a real nice, um, you know, butt section to it. This is a loud fly. And when you got a loud fly, it's okay to have a whole bunch of peacock. Trout really like peacock. Um, now we're gonna take another part that's changed. I use um, Smolt Blue Crystal Flash, but I've seen a lot of these flies tied with flash of boo and um, opal tinsel and pearl tinsel. And well, there's so many tinsels nowadays that I think you could make a strong case for using any of those. So I'd like to build this up just a little bit, but it's still gonna have that little bit of an ant profile. This is not a bad step in which to make use of UV, um, like a, like a flow, UV flow from Loon would be good right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rubber legs. It's just white rubber legs like in the skunk. Just kinda measure out two of them. A lot of rubber legs come with a little bend and I try to use that to my advantage. That's where I'm gonna <clears throat> tie them in. And then I'll trim the shape so you can see that little bend there. Always gotta make sure you like where you put it. Can't tell if that's, I think that's too far back or not. We'll, we'll find out. Rubber legs too, the other thing is they like to twist around, but again, that helps you set them 
the way you want them. So I get them set. I'm going to soft wrap and pull. And don't worry too much if they don't flare the way you want them to. We'll come back to that in a bit. Because um, you do want them out a little bit in that X. But we have lots of steps that will aid us in that um, getting there. So I'm going to use some trigger point fiber for the wing. You can also use high vis. Uh, para post is good. But a nice, a nice chunk of it. It's always nice to just hold up. And so this is, remember I said it's a double wing. That's your underwing and this becomes your overwing. So measured. Looks like it's gonna be a little bit long, but I'm gonna tie it right in around those wings. Well, the nice thing about synthetics is you can always clip them. I'm gonna go into it, that synthetic, just a bit there. And I'm gonna pull those legs back again. Get as much of it as possible. And I'm just gonna clip. These legs can't grow, so if you cut them too short, you gotta start over. So something about don't let perfect be the enemy of good when it comes to rubber legs. Absolutely. So, hackle gauge. Let's get it right. I tie this on a 10, but I put about a 12 on there. Yeah, close enough. This might be a little close to a 10, but like, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty good. So I always clip both sides of the stem. I like to tie it on on top. I'm going to create a bed for the hackle here and then I'm going to start to pull my rubber legs forward. We're going to try to stand them out a bit. We're getting a nice V now and the hackle is going to do the rest. Okay, so wrapping the hackle. First off, you want to make sure it goes on the right way. It is. So that hackle behind the legs will get those right where you want them. Now we're going to go in front. Definitely, I would say the most important part of the whole procedure right here, because it really determines what your fly is going to look like. Now we got that V shape going. Right to the front. We wrap the same direction that we Tie off on, clip. Once again, I see that I've continued to use a giant saltwater whip finish. I don't know why. All right. I just frayed that thread, so we're gonna double it up. I just frayed it on the um, hook guide. There must be a burr on it. Just a couple more wraps. So that's the Patriot Skunk. It's more or less how we originally tied it. A great go get them brook trout fly, that's for sure. Um, has caught some nice browns. This is one of my favorite creek flies. Trying to see if something can bite. You're just trying to catch a trout cover water. Um, it gets them, give it a shot.